Friends and welcome to the Shy Show. I'm Shy. Jumping into Parsha like stuff that mattered to me this week. This week's Parsha is Parsha's Tetzeve. And this week's Parsha, the Parsha goes in to explain in great detail the beautiful and intricate garments that the Kohen Gadol wore. He wore the Big Day Kahuna. And after all, he should because he's the Big Kahuna. <laughs> and Rashi goes on to explain specifically one of these garments, the Ephod. When he starts to explain it, um, he, he looks to, to tradition, and he didn't have a tradition to ha- on how to explain it. And he starts to explain, my heart tells me. This reminds me of a joke. There was once a father who asked his uh, son a riddle. This, is, uh, this joke is made famous in uh, uh, The Joy of Yiddish. So the father asked his son a riddle. Uh, a riddle? A riddle. <laughs> he was a riddle. A Yiddish riddle. A, a, a Yiddish riddle. I guess that's a riddle. The riddle's a little joke. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that. So he asked his son, and he said, and he said, he said, son, what hangs on a wall is green, wet, and whistles. And the son thinks about it for a while, and he says, Papa, I, I, I don't know what it is. Could you tell me? So the father says, it's a herring. And the son says, huh, a herring. Well, herrings don't hang on walls. He's like, so nail it to a wall. The son asks, well, herrings aren't green. So Papa says, so paint it green. He said, Papa, when we get the herring, it's not wet. Papa says, if you just painted it, it's wet. And the boy's thinking and thinking. And he says, but Papa, herrings don't whistle. And Papa says, I just threw that one in to make it hard. (laughs) So... You see, what, what, what we were saying before, and Rashi was, was coming to describe, and he says, my heart tells me. You see, perhaps, perhaps it's been said that Rashi um, lived not in a royal city, and one time that he happened upon, by chance, he happened upon a, a, uh, a princess, an actual princess at the time, uh, a French princess at the time, who, who was dressed in a certain royal garments that they would wear when they rode horses. And he thought to himself, this is not just a chance that I should see a princess. Not every day you see a princess. And it's that, that I should see a princess and that she should be, and she should, and she should, and, and she should be in her, in her royal garments. So he thought to himself, ah, this, this, this came to me. And he remembered that he had struggled with coming up with an explanation or a clarity or a tradition to describe this effort. For when he began to describe what the effort was, he said this, and it must be exactly like what the princesses wore when they, when they rode horses. And that he happened upon to see a princess who rode a horse, so he knew exactly how to explain it for us to, for us to know. So maybe so we can say that in our lives there there are plenty of things there's plenty of things that seem like chances like chance occurrences and we could uh, just view them as chance or we could understand that that there's an opportunity to to jump in to to see what it's telling us why this particular person uh, was able to interact with us or why we should have a certain um, event or why should we should have so much snow whatever it might be it's it's a chance to introspect. Of course, sometimes it's it's um, we're not able to really understand, or it, or it's or it's a difficult situation like a whistling herring, where it seems like it was you know just put there um, to make it difficult. And sometimes, as much as as much as we're trying, especially when it's being presented to us, we we tend to we can tend to view it as just a difficulty. And maybe and hopefully, sometime in the future, we'll understand why that struggle and difficulty, you know, was, was something more than a whistling herring, or something else that we could explain or or, or uh, recognize the benefit of. Most times, like, like the joke says, and most times, like we were saying, is that we are able to understand and, and to connect and to attach that sort of meaning that, that, that brings constructive purpose and helps our growth. If we stop and we don't, things aren't coming at us, things aren't just coming at us, rather it's an opportunity to, to, to grow. If we are stop and we think and we you know, try to uh, take the riddle that life throws us seriously. So let us take a moment. Uh, it's going to be a great Shabbos. Mm-hmm. Let, us, let us take a moment to uh, enjoy our challah. Um, please uh, you click the subscribe button so you're able to see when the next new videos are coming out. Yay. And I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye. Bye.